howdy it's Tubal Kane again and I went to an old engine show today and of all things this shaper followed me home so here it is on the back of my Ford tractor I just unloaded it off of that trailer the owner was from Racine Wisconsin it came clear down here to deliver it for me from the engine show I have a lot more pictures of this later. It is not an Atlas, it is not a Sheldon, it is not a South Bend, but it is a Rhodes. Well, there's always something new here, and I couldn't wait to plug it in, make sure it works. I hear a little ticking sound there, but I have to investigate. But overall, I think I got a fair buy, and you'll see a lot more of this in upcoming videos. In operation, cutting metal. I've been wanting a shaper for quite a while, and of all places, I ran into this at a old engine show, a tractor show, and a man had a whole trailer full of uh, lawnmowers and this. He was from out of state and, uh, you know, I couldn't get my money out of my wallet fast enough. And then he brought it down here for me, which was about, he was from Wisconsin, so he had to come about 45 miles each way out of his way. So I was thankful for that. This is a Rhodes shaper. I never heard of it. But it's identical in size to the uh, South Bend and the Atlas. And I think the Amoco as well. Very old. It probably was made in the 20s or 30s. In perfect shape. You'll be seeing a lot of this little shaper on my uh, YouTube channel and uh, also on my uh, private website. Now shapers of course are totally obsolete and antiquated and there's no possible need to have one but they still are an interesting machine. All of the large ones, I should say probably most all of the large shapers in industry have been scrapped but a lot of the little ones are still around. Now, if you haven't seen these videos here of mine, make sure you look at them because in that video, there's three videos, I show this little uh, homemade shaper and uh, many people were interested in that, so you can look that up with the search, but there's over 50,000 views on uh, that part one, so be sure and check that one out if you want to see a, a much smaller shaper. As you can see, cast into the side here, it says the Rhodes Manufacturing Company, Hartford, Connecticut. And then down on the bottom there, that little triangle, says uh, Federal Machinery Sales Company, Chicago, Illinois. It's a little brass plate. Now, of course, uh, they use either a decal or a sticker. But back then, they put something on that was going to last. I do intend to put a new power cord on it because it's still uh, just a two-wire system and I want to have it grounded. Not too crazy about those open belts and pulleys there, but we'll see. Maybe some guards will get made. Remember back when uh, this type of machine was made, it was every man for himself. If you weren't smart enough to keep your fingers out there, then they called you Stubby Lee. interesting mechanism on a shaper because you know even though you'd say that it only cuts half the time actually it's cutting about uh, 60 percent of the time because the return stroke on the ram is faster than the forward stroke probably a 60 to 40 ratio 
From some other picture that I've seen, uh, this appears to be the original cast iron base, and it weighs as much as the machine. No stamped sheet metal here. And uh, as far as I can tell, originally it probably was flat bell drive with some kind of driving mechanism here, and that's what this is all about. So I might take the sawzall to that and hack that off, or I might put a little shelf on there, you know, for tooling. Kind of excited about this and it did not come with a vise so that little vise that's on there is that uh, brown and sharp number uh, 21 that I put on there and I put that aluminum plate on there too to accommodate it because I didn't want to drill any holes in it it's in remarkably good shape with most all of the uh, original uh, scraping marks still on it you know a lot of these machines are in good shape because they never really did get used so I uh, hope you like this little machine and watch my videos, you know, as this starts to appear uh, as the star of some of the uh, shows. And be sure and watch my other videos. Tubal Kane saying so long for now.